All right. Hi, it's Mrs. Bada here with your Desmos screencast. And so the first thing that you're going to need to do is in your search bar, type desmos.com and it will take you to this website. And you want to click on the big red rectangle to start graphing. The first, it you, we were already logged in, side note. We, I had him log in but what they wouldn't automatically be logged in. So this would say sign in. So I would say, okay, let's sign you out so that you see that. All right, so we don't need to create an account because we can sign in with our school Google account. Click sign with Google. And you can add your account. And I think I clicked on that instead of your school password, and you're in. And now what I'll show you is that you are going to be able to save and title any finished product, any graph that you've created on this program. And the end result of what I'm going to walk through and have you create today is a parabola where we've put the coefficients a B and C in for our parameters and we'll create sliders that will allow us to change those parameters to see how changing each of these values affects your parabola. We know that if we make our A value bigger, our graph gets thinner. And as we go between zero and one, we get wider. And if we go in the negatives, we flip over. Your C value, your constant, is just going to take your, it's hard with, I'm not used to it, the apple, and take your parabola and just shift it up and down however many units your C value is. If I put my C at zero, I should be right at the origin. I may be wrong. Well, I would know what I was going to say. This is just me being an example. So what I want to do now is show you how you can get these graphs on your screen. And so what you're looking at right now is this blank screen. You're, set, you're signed in. You don't have a titled graph. And so if we want to enter that first parabola, we were going to bring up the keyboard. And you can use function notation or you can use y and instead of our equal sign we're going to use one of our inequality symbols and then when you want to square your x you just hit the a squared button I don't know why I brought the dictionary up and then just finish you don't have to put your parameters in yet you don't have to put your coefficients in Oh, actually, we do. Sorry, that's a lie. We're going to put... Informal. Yep, all right. But I would... This is me making it up on the fly, so... <laughs> I haven't quite set the stage. And it gives you this option to add sliders. And what those sliders will do, will they will change... They will allow you to change the values of each of those. We hit all and they all pop up. A equals one. Again, that makes your parabola bigger or smaller and changes your shading. B is a more complicated shift. It's gonna shift it kind of up and down and left and right. That's not really an algebra topic. And then your C value just moves it up and down like you have learned in class. <laughs> and then if we wanna add our tangent line, we can, well, I'm not prepared for that because I didn't know what was going to happen. But basically, then the next thing I would want to say is that at this point, you would want to save this so you can come back to it and we could use it in class tomorrow. So if I change my title to parabola example,
you click Save, you should be able to log in tomorrow in class and pull up this example, and we'll work on it together. So maybe I'm kind of just thinking off the top of my head, maybe this would be something where I would